Hey guys, what is up? Alex Brody here and welcome to Evil Dawns. Now this is another little indie horror game made in RPG Maker that look pretty cool. Choose a game difficulty. Normal I suppose? Are you sure? Yes. Doesn't film as much confidence when you're just asking about how difficult a game will be. And what in the game will change? Based on difficulty is my question. Looks like a map of the mansion. This will be of great use. Lovely red paint everywhere. It's definitely red paint, nothing else. Looks like there's a lever inside of this. Perhaps I should press it. It looks like some kind of weighted pressure plate. Okay, so we need something to wear that down. Now, like most of the horror games, I know the door's lock's broken, can't be opened. Literally, basically nothing about it except for the game jolt page. And it looked pretty cool. Seemed like it had a pretty interesting premise, and so far seems to be pretty... Decent. Oh shit, I went through someone I wasn't paying attention. This has been well I wasn't finished in the other room, I'm finished all in this hallway thingy. Lock is broken and can't be open. Cool. Can I take that with me? A lantern that should be of some use. Hmm, the lantern are even half full though. I hope I find find more lantern oil later on. Why was the lantern so bright? Uh, hey? This is me. Cool. And I'm currently crying, slash dead, which is lovely. Okay, so this is quite big. Is there an actual map? Jesus, okay, it's big. Where the hell am I? Um, and there's stairs, shit. I'm assuming... I was in the grand foyer, and now in the rear foyer. Lovely. The lock is broken, can't be open. I have to find another way to get to the other side of the door. Am I going to fall as well? No. The lock is broken, can't be open. I have to find another way to get to the other side of the door. I must say, whoever did the decorating for this lock is locked and needs a key. Just really fire the decorator. He did a very bad job of stating these floors. I mean, just messed these paints everywhere, apparently. In case I don't actually make it out, I'll rustle down. I'll write down all that has happened to me whilst in terrible and huge mansion. Oh, okay, save game. Cool. This looks like some paint colors. This might come in use. Sure. I can restore my health with water, but it looks like there's only enough for three uses. Use water fully heal your health, do nothing. Did not expect us to restore my health. Now what the fuck am I restoring my health from is my next question. I thought we were going to have a nice little relaxed time with solving puzzles and being freaked up by little jump scares. Okay, so we are now. So that was the bathroom that we just went in. So bathroom is here. Or here. I feel like we went, we went here, we went there, and we went, we went through here, so now we're in the rear foyer. To so the great room. We've got a place called the great room. I really don't want to go outside. I don't know, hey, I feel like I'd be banking on leaving the fuck out of this place. The door is locked and needs a key. Like, I don't know how comfortable I would be with staying in this place for this long amount of time, but like... I suppose you do you. Shiny something. Don't have a good feeling about shiny somethings. It's a bucket full of soapy water. Oh wait, there looks like something is in it. Oh, it's no use. Whatever is just keeps slipping from my grasp. I wonder why there's a mortal and pestle here. Oh no, no time to worry about that. Let me just get that coast out of the way quick. No, I'm good. I'm good. This lock is broken and can't be opened. I'll rather not go towards that bucket of water. I have no need for this. Apparently water healed my health, so... I suppose we have to go towards the scary sound. Mm -hmm. 
Did that teacup just move? What the fuck? What is with this teacup? Okay, I don't know if that's glitching or that's intentional and freaking me the fuck out slightly. This door's locked, but it looks as if a key wouldn't open it. The hell is that? What, what was that? Is this door just open though? Did we just unleash zombies into this place now? What is this? I have a very bad feeling about what is about to happen. See, the thing is, I don't know where that noise came from. Doors locked, it needs a key. To change of music, I'm guessing we're going towards whatever I'm supposed to be guess going towards. It's not very clearly much like a zombie, which is not exactly where I want to be, and I don't seem to be able to press shift to sprint either. Okay, so we are in... I feel like we've been to a lot of the house, so we're in the dining room. I feel like there's almost nowhere we can get into now. This is a Resident Evil reference. For some reason I feel like the first zombie in Resident Evil 1 was in the dining room. Could be completely wrong and just remember that, remembering that completely wrong, which right now I'm kind of rambling because this is a bit freaky. It's locked and can't be open. What the fuck can I do? Can I just leave? No. Everything seems to be locked though, so now... Where haven't I gone? Oh shit, it's, it's, I don't know, but it's a barrier of some kind, there's definitely no way through it. Guess the game is still in development and they haven't fully added and rendered in all the character workings. It's broken, now this is... The Great Room. So the great room seems to be locked from all its doors. But I haven't seemed to be like actually find anything. I actually have anything in an inventory. What about what is this? Paint pools, lantern, and a map. Lantern, equip it, and then press lighter, press F. Oh, okay, so it makes it a lot brighter. But I don't know for how long it lasts, so let's maybe rather not. This is this is me. Then where should I be going? Because the doors are locked here as well. The doors locked and needs a key. I feel like I've been everywhere that's open. Okay, fuck off creepy teacup. It was locked, so I was gonna go open with a key. This one's just broken, I think. Then we have to find where we should be going. Okay, whatever, and he has slippery, and I can't actually manage to grasp, I think. There's something in it, I oh, know, it keeps slipping out of my hands, pestle and water. Is 
this anything important that's actually on the floor? No. Where should I be going? Am I just too stupid to see it? This lounge doesn't seem to actually open to anywhere. Done the service, kitchen, pantry, rear foyer, the gallery, the grand foyer. The stairs are locked. Gone into the dining room, the dining room didn't open into service. All the doors in the grand foyer are locked. I don't know if this does run, I'm assuming it does. It's a way for me to see actually. I don't want to actually use that in case it's supposed to restore health and then it restores health when I necessarily need it. Which would obviously not be ideal. Needs to the painting? No. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Needs a key. Needs a key. The camera is the bathroom, but all I can do in here is save. Sure, why not save again? Miss a door somewhere there. Bathroom, tried the study, tried the boardroom, tried the great room. Door blocks off on that side. I feel like I've tried all the doors that all need keys. So that's something needs something to weigh it down inside. Door's broken, it can't be opened. This is the inside, perhaps I should press it. It looks like some kind of weighted pressure plate. Okay, it's just a little thing to outside. Now there's something on the table. Slash, I was too blind to see it before. Is this, is this really a fishing rod? What is it doing here? Found fishing rod. Well, at least I know what we do with the fishing rods, so that's fine. That I'm sure is... Oh, it's locked. Bro yeah, broke. It's... The lock is broken. Words. Okay, but now I'm assuming is where we find a little zombie friend. Or not? So I can't remember where that sound actually came from. Bucket full of soapy water. Oh wait, it looks like something is in it. It's bucket full of soapy water, looks like there's something in it. Whatever it is, just keeps slipping from my grasp. Okay. Fishing rod, used to get from there. I wonder if it could be used in this mansion. Used fishing rod. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, got the key. Obtained the study key. Okay, dope. Now I want my flashlight back. Okay, never mind. I had it equipped, so I just need to press F. It was on as well. Jesus, okay. So study is... I can't remember if that was... Okay, so that was in the foyer. Progress, look at us go. Apparently getting a fucking mouse, we can see where we're going, really helped us. What a surprise. That little, like the picture of my character busy crying is really off-putting. So that should be here. The door is broken, it can't be open. What the fuck are what? There's two doors. <sighs> I am a dumbass. Can't really blame you for trying both doors though, I figure. So we go to here. Should be this door. Door's locked and needs a key. I have a key. Use a study key to unlock the study. Why 
Why the fuck is there a zombie on the floor? I do not have a good feeling about that. Oh, it's news clippings from the last year. Tragedy strikes. The well-known scientist Gerald Nerdy was found guilty of crimes against humanity and God. Apparently, Nerdy has been experimenting with humans to further his own goals, but completely neglected God's own will. In his defense, he made the following statement. I just wanted to advance the human race, to help us to grow and become better. There's nothing wrong with this at all. Nothing wrong at all. Nothing wrong at all, he thinks. Yeah, he experimented on a human, some of which had died. If he found... If he's found guilty in the courts of law, he will hang for his crimes. I don't recall hearing about this. It seems very long ago if it's about hanging for crimes. I'm assuming I have to inspect this thing. Some... This is some of its blood. I don't think I want any. Oh, yeah. I just want to know what the fuck it actually is. This lock is broken and can't be opened. I have to find a way. How do I put the sparks down? Really, I know I need the flashing thing. The lock is broken and can't be opened. But how do I get to the flashing thing? Wait, there's another door. I think my... Oh no, it just turned off. Oh my spark, something important definitely has to be on the other side. What do I have in my inventory? Uh, I don't even think of Because I don't think there's anything in my inventory that would actually help me over the spark. So unless I use... The flowers in the pot? Doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense, but... I don't... I think it's my only... Used that works out if it wasn't a trap, though. That was very, very loud and abrupt and really freaky. Okay, this is the study. That's still locked. That definitely sounded like a door that opened. So I'm not assuming it was the sparks. Okay, that's the fishing rod. It's fine. I already used it. What's up? I just need to try actually black. Like, get my bearings to figure out what could be opening and what isn't opening kind of thing. These are the doors that I think are the ones that... Oh, oh, the only one that looks like it doesn't open with the lock was the one in the kitchen. If, if it, uh, it looks like it opens but it doesn't look like it uses the lock was the one in the kitchen if I'm not mistaken. They expressly said that about the kitchen. Doors locked. It looks as if a key wouldn't open it. Okay, then my bad. I assume it went. Jesus, that teacup every time. I uh, assume it was that because that in my mind would have made the most sense. Said a key wouldn't open it. The door's locked and needs a key. Is this a lot more like one thing, one thing, and not necessarily spread out? So just depress the sparks. Okay, yeah, just to press the sparks then. Gimme! Gimme! It's just a stick, but I may as well take it. Gimme the book! Jesus. <sighs> Gimme both little carrots, go. Does nothing happen with the book? Okay. Lock is broken, can't be open. Can't... Lock is broken, can't be opened. Do I hit him with the stick? Use the wooden stick to break the lock to the lounge. Okay. I am that good that I managed it from. Who knows where the fuck I was? Where's the lounge now? I guess the lounge is the one that's through the kitchen. I heard a really weird noise there. I'm really hoping that wasn't just me.
a really bad feeling about this kitchen. Apart from the weird... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Severed head that was there and then wasn't there. Hmm, I don't see anything in here. Just like we didn't see that severed head either, I'm pretty sure. Looks like an excerpt from a book. Jesus. And the wizard had sealed the stairway leading to the castle tower. The princess lived above the wizard. The princess lived above and the wizard had to do all with his power to save her. For she held the key to save them all. The wizard had three simple tricks that he cast to seal to seal the way. Simple yet powerful. No one would be able to get up. But he knew he knew how to reverse the spell and gain entry. All he had to do was take a leaf from a blooming plant. Add it to his mortal and pestle, along with the hair of a virgin, mixing all with the blood of the roaming dead. Cool. When mixed properly, it would become a powder that one could sprinkle over the barrier force. It was simple, yet would be difficult for anyone other than the wizard to do. He smiled to himself as Brynn said, accepted the, fa accepted the fact that she would now be safe. I remember my father reading this to me. While the virgin hair is easy enough, I just need to pull one of our hairs out and going. Dope. Oh, I don't remember what I needed, I just read it. Well, the flowers we should be able to get from... Lock is broken, can't remember if I know where to get to the other side. Um, I know where to find Walking Dead's blood, but I have a feeling that Walking Dead's no longer going to be all sparkly. There's a small bottle of lantern oil. This will... Help me out, I'm assuming. I don't know if I used that and I just didn't need to. Box break, I can't remember, I found a way to get it. So I'm assuming the flowers is... Um... Fuck that teacup. I'm assuming the flowers is the ones from the... Oh yeah, there's the word I'm looking for. I don't see why these wouldn't work. Maybe I can take a leaf from this, perhaps that will work. Did I take one? Yeah, I did. Cool. So we're on the same page thing as... Apparently I'm not as dumb as I look. That did seem to make sense. Now I have a bad feeling about the fact that I'm going to walk... Oh, it's still dead. Surprised. I was not expecting it to still be dead there on the floor. Oh gee, I just took the whole body. Fuck, okay. At least I don't have to worry about coming back to laugh then. I'm gonna save. Because I have a bad feeling about what's gonna happen next. So we shall save. Over out to save, yes. Because I'm not so... I suppose... I have the dead person, so what's the worst that could happen? But still doesn't fill me with much confidence, to be brutally honest. Like, eh. Okay, random teacup thing up there, that's normal. Oh, board and pestle's down here. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck I was planning on going there. Okay, so. Inventory. Plants. Yeah. I suppose I'm quite, quite like she's a virgin. Doesn't seem that plausible for someone anymore. Hey, it worked. There's white powder now. Obtained the anti barrier powder. Oh, okay, it's just smoke flicking out from the pot. So it doesn't really seem that plausible for someone that's seeming to be as old as this chick seems to be, and as competent as she seems to be. But we shall go with it. Use anti barrier powder. Okay, now does my map magically put me on the second floor now? No, it does not. Okay, so I need to find. So now I'm just gonna walk in circles. Is this a. No, it is a landing. Okay, so first all we're trying. Open. Ah, oh, another bathroom. Cool, cool, cool. 
we're gonna we shall save again. We shall pick up our poles. Hey, ghost, play a game with me. Who are you? Why can I see through you? Play a game with me. Hello, can you hear me? Play a game with me. Please don't yell at me. What happened here? Play a game with me. Play a game with him. Why aren't you answering me? Because you're not playing a game with me. Well, you didn't ask me if I wanted to do so. Fine, would you like to play a game with me? Not right now. I need to find out what happened here. Play a game with me now. Okay, fine. I don't fully know what's going on here, but... I think it's for... I think it's for the great room. See you later, perhaps. Hey, wait. Huh? He's gone. What? So he's good. He's going to the great room? I have no idea what to, what to do here. Okay. Is there another corridor down here? Another massive corridor. So I think what we're actually going to do, first of all, is we're going to save. And I think that is where we're actually going to end this part. It seems like there's still quite a bit of game to be had. At least, hopefully, more than two minutes, unlike the new us, where I stopped like 30 seconds from the end. We can still walk all the way back down to the great room and speak to a ghost, so I feel like at least minimum three and a half minutes, which is content, I'm sure. Across the two minute mark, two, under two minutes is where you can't record a video. Over two minutes still counts. So, guys, that is where we're ending for this episode. Um, we'll be back to this like, show actually pretty soon. Pretty cool story, and I want to know what the fuck actually happened, what is going on. And I'm actually kind of enjoying the game, it's actually pretty well done. Um, like always, the link will be down in the description below if you guys want to try it out for yourself. Uh, support the developer, let him know what you think about his game. And like always, just thank you so much for watching. And please, guys, all those YouTube things, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. It really helps more than you could ever know. But just many thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys next time.